I need a microwave in my streaming room. That's what I think my next addition. I need to complete my two PC streaming setup. Then I need to add a mic, like a, a mini fridge under my desk. And then I need to add a microwave. Like imagine if I was just sitting here and I was like, hey guys, hold on. I have to, I have to heat up my coffee real quick. And then you hear beep, 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 beep. Ding. And then I'm like, I don't even have to get up. That's genius. It's genius. Maybe an ins... Nah, I don't like insulated mugs because, like, I don't like the weird lip shit you have to do on the top of those. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, like, you gotta, like, wrap your lips around the bottom of the mug and, like, put, put your... I, I don't like that. Listen, I, I have a series of coffee mugs that I love dearly. Despite one of them says daddy on it, but, I mean, you know, I guess at the end of the day... Daddy vibes. I just didn't do a weird lip shit. No, I didn't mean weird lip shit. I'm just saying, like, I find it uncomfortable to drink out of insulated mugs because of my lips. <laughs> okay, look. Like, I didn't realize I was opening... I didn't realize I was opening such a can of worms here. No, that's what I'm saying, right? I feel like when I take a sip out of a coffee mug, you're taking a sip out of a mug... But I feel like when you take a sip out of an insulated mug, it's like, it's like you have to, it's like you're, you're, it's not like you're sipping. It's like you're pouring it into your mouth. You know, so, you know what I'm saying? I, I like the sip where a little bit of suction is applied to the surface tension of the coffee to transfer it into my mouth, into like a, in, in like a, in like a, like a, like a, like a, like a little squirt in the mouth. I think that with a mug, it's more of a pouring action. You have to lift the mug higher. You have to kind of tip your head back. And your bottom lip has to kind of form a seal around the, 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 the lip of the mug, the contact portion of the mug. And you're pouring the coffee in your mouth. Like, if you guys can't see the difference between those two things, I can't help you. <laughs> what that distortion... What are you what are you talking about? You you think like with a coffee with a coffee mug you're sipping with with an insulated like thermos mug you're pouring. It it's two different things, guys. Oh my god. I, are you guys trying to gaslight me? I think I think you guys are gaslighting me. My complete lack of effort into anything is... <laughs> Come on. You guys know what I mean. Uh, I can't drink coffee through a straw. I feel like... I feel like a couple things. There, there are certain methods of beverage delivery that change the flavor and the nature of the beverage. So, for example, when I used to drink soda... I find that if I drink soda out of a plastic bottle, I haven't drank soda in like 11 years, but when I used to drink soda and I drink it out of a plastic bottle, that was a more uh, pleasurable flavor than if I drink it out of a glass bottle. Same thing with milk. I am more of a fan of milk out of like a regular, you know, like those, those weird plastic cardboard hybrid uh, milk containers than out of a glass one. For some reason, I feel like when I drink things with a straw, like the nature of it traveling through the straw into my mouth changes the the flavor, the, not even the, the experience of it. Like there's a 0% chance I'm ever going to drink coffee with a straw unless, unless something happens where I have a catastrophic jaw injury and all my teeth are gone. And literally the only way that I could ever actually ingest coffee was to drink it through a straw. Like maybe. Is hot cut fussy. <laughs> I feel like you guys are being obtuse here about the difference between the coffee mug and an insulated mug. I feel like you guys are. I feel like I feel like you guys are trolling me. I can't. I don't know who's trolling who right now. Zachary, thank you. Zachary gets it. So you're saying you would rather suck on a bit rather than having a poured. Well, yes. Yeah, I think so. Because I, I feel like when you take a sip, 
Uh, okay, okay. Maybe I'll, maybe this will help you guys understand. When you take a sip, that 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 when you when you apply the sucking to the surface tension of the coffee, I believe there's like an aeration effect, right? Like the coffee is kind of being sucked into your mouth, and I believe there's like it's like an aerator, like a bubbler for fish, right? It puts oxygen into the water. When you pour, I don't think that you have the same effect, right? So it's the difference between like a fish tank aerator um, putting oxygen into the water so that fish can survive versus like pouring uh, water into a fish tank. You guys understand the difference, right? No, there's a 0% chance that I can put that on YouTube, guys. Whenever we get into these discussions and you want these clips on YouTube, all the people who only watch YouTube are like, what the fuck is this? Like, why is this a clip? I came here from Wimworld. You're talking about, uh, you know, the, the aeration of coffee as you're drinking it. <laughs> I don't drink out of fish tank aerators. I'm not, Robert, I'm not suggesting that you should drink out of a... I'm, okay. When you sip it... T Thank you, Zach. Okay, Zachary's making a good point. I don't think you've ever had fish. I had a, I had a turtle one time. You're talking about drinking co cola, uh, coffee out of fish tanks with aeration and complaining about it. No, 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 no. I was, I was, I was, uh, it was an analogy. It was an analogy. Okay. Listen, let's just, let's just get back to rim world guys. <clears throat> fish is not a turtle. I know. Let's <laughs> try to stop fading a quote. Thank you, Aver. Wait, what were you? I missed it. Uh, if you can't suck on an... No, no, no. Here's the thing. Like, I think the thing that you're... God. Here's the thing you're missing. Is that... Come on, one trick. Like, you have to understand how this... The dynamics of this. I'm going to give this one more shot, okay? So let's say you have a, an insulated mug. And that insulated mug has a hole where the liquid comes out of, okay? You can't suck on that hole, right? Because of how air pressure works. Unless your mug has a hole somewhere else for you to suck the, you, you can't suck on a mug. That's essentially what sipping is. Sipping is sucking on the, on the, the rim of a coffee mug to shoot the coffee into your mouth. That's how it works. When you have a coffee mug, you can't suck on the hole because the, because of how air pressure works, right? That's why when you drink out of a coffee mug, you're you have to pour the coffee out of your mouth or sorry, out of the mug into your mouth. That's why a coffee mug is sucking. An insulated thermal mug is a pouring action. Those are two different things. <laughs> 